Okay, so we have our main method for playing sound, and now we're actually going to play a sound. So uh, I'm going to create the one thing you have to do over in your Brick Breaker, um, whatever project file holds your Brick Breaker thing. You have to right click on it, or on SRC, on source, and you have to click and like add a new source folder. And this is going to be like a folder where you can keep all your media. And we'll just name it resources. And I already have some sound files that I used for uh, the version that I've actually built. So I'm just going to add um, a wood hit. So I'm going to drag this and copy it into um, our resources folder. Oh, I needed to copy that. Okay. Hold on. I need to make sure it's up with the other one. Uh, so paste. Wood hit. Okay, now it's in both places. Good. So now we have this wood hit thing, and uh, we need to just play that sound whenever. Let's say just whenever the paddle hits the ball. So um, go up to wherever your collision method is for detecting paddle and ball uh, collision. So when the paddle wrecked dot intersects pu wrecked. Um, oh no, that's power ups. Sorry. Uh, Paddle wrecked and ball rectangles. Okay, so at this point we want to play a sound effect. And so we just say play sound. And then we're going to, it has to be very specific because this is a URL. So like it, the computer really needs it to be formatted like this. And I'm not exactly sure the syntax again, but this is what you have to type. So you have to type file colon period forward slash. Oops, period forward slash. Uh, resources forward slash wood hit dot AIF you know and whatever the thing is or we, we want it to loop zero times uh, so if you if you don't want it to loop over and over just hit put it in zero this actually is not the number of times it's playing this is the number of repetitions so um, I believe that that will work actually Let's go test it out. So it should make a sound when the ball hits the paddle. There we go. It's throwing that annoying exception that I don't quite understand. So um, this is, if you read over the, oh, I like that paddle. Uh, if you read over the error report, it's like, <clears throat> This is an outdated way of using audio, so you need to update your APIs, make sure they're compatible with the newest version of Java. So um, it might stop working at some point here as they update in 2016. Uh, I don't know. Frankly, I'm not an audio expert. I'm trying to learn, but I'm not there yet. So th I do know this method works for now, though. Uh, and that's it. And then, you know, you just add certain sounds when certain things occur, and you should be able to figure that out. Uh, again, to get you sh get the sounds, you can just go to YouTube and then use this, like, convert to, um, so find a sound effect that you like. Uh, let's say, I don't know, chimes. Sound effect. And, uh, they're all too long, aren't they? Okay, let's, whatever. Anyway, so if you wanted this one, just grab this and head over to this website called Convert to MP3. You add the audio file there and convert it. Now you're going to need to drag, download this file, drag it into GarageBand, and when you're in GarageBand, you're going to actually have to export it as an AIF file uh, because, again, Java does not work with MP3s. So you can do that with music. You can start music playing at the beginning of the game when it starts. You can add different sound effects for different uh, collisions and different actions that occur. Um, so have fun playing around with sound in your game. All right, that's it.